Hi guys, welcome back to Fantastic Me. And today, before anything, I want to wish you a happy new year. I know this is uh, 2023. Hope you have big plans. I hope you have big dreams. Hope you plan on helping people that are truly in need. And uh, whose lives you can change. And of course, but first off, we have to change our own lives before we can help others, right? Like I said, welcome back. We're actually going to focus on a couple of different things, a couple of different ones. And uh, in the past, we had we have talked about price versus value. And this is no exception. We're going to actually talk about two different ones. One that I tried before in another different video. Uh, Chateau Lingurian. And I believe this was like a $15 bottle. Um, I've said great things about it. And Bella Union by one of the best wineries here in um, Napa Valley, Forniente. A lot of people brag about Forniente. I had never, I never had the chance to actually go and try wine there. Um, but you know, I I did run into this bottle by with a coworker of mine. He bought it for somebody else. That person ended up moving. They didn't want to take any wine, so um, I ended up getting it. And we had it for dinner the other day. Unfortunately, it's actually a really, really like supposedly a really good value and a great bottle, quite great quality. But as it turns out, it's not as much or as good as you would think it is. Um, you know, the quality of it is almost like new world meets old world. Again, this is we're talking about Bella Union. Uh, old world meets um, new world. And I've tasted some similar that was like a Malbec with a short finish. Um, you know, it was like a ten dollar bottle. So I wasn't really crazy about the taste of it. Very light. Um, I'm gonna pour this. Just so you guys can see the color. I'm not gonna drink this because um, I'm not a huge fan. It actually looks darker in color than it was. But if you look at it in the light. She not super heavy, right? So here we have a sixty-five dollar bottle, probably like seventy dollars with tax, right? And you know, I had some uh, decent body, but you know, for a lot of people have been bragging about this winery and. For the end, it's like the next big thing coming, like almost like the second coming to Jesus. And um, and I know we don't talk about, it's just a, a metaphor. We're not talking about religion here. I want to clarify that because I don't want anybody, anybody to get offended. It's just a, a phrase that people use all the time. However, back to the subject, you know, I've, I was, it was to me, it was a big letdown. Uh, not enough body, um, very light for a Cabernet Sauvignon. I believe it's a 2018, and I expected a lot more from a very short finish, just acidic and light tannins, and that's all I really got from it. Surprisingly, the reason I'm bringing up price versus value is because this right here, <laughs> this right here was worth only $15. And it had way better tasting notes. It was very bold, very robust, a lot of structure. Um, you know, not a lot of fruit in the front. Um, it did, I did have to decant it to be able to taste the wine. Um, and I think this is more like a Bordeaux blend. Yeah, it's 75% Merlot, 25% Cabernet Sauvignon. So to be able to get this kind of flavor profile on a Blend that's mainly 75% Merlot, so mainly Merlot, 90 points according to the wine enthusiast. Okay, here we go. Hope you can see it. Okay, so one of the things that I was gonna mention that I didn't get to mention before because I didn't talk about that. Yes, great French wine, great flavor profile, big, big body, great structure. But 
barely any fruit, a lot of spices, definitely a lot of pepper. The problem with this was the feeling I got later. When you're sensitive to cheap wine, you feel achy, and a lot of people get this. I didn't think it was true until I actually experimented it myself, experienced it myself, and you get headaches, and you name it. So I wasn't, I loved the, the flavors and everything else. Again, you get what you pay for. It is a $15 bottle, so it's not going to be the best quality, even though they did great with the flavors. I got to give them props. Hands down, great wine on the flavor. If you're not sensitive to any of these artificial things, you're going to love it. Best value. On the other hand, the two things that this wines have in common, the same thing happened with this wine that was $65. Okay, not purchased by me, it was given to me. Like I said, I keep hearing great things about Forniente and how Forniente is like one of the best wineries in Napa Valley and stuff. Yet, not the best flavor profile, overpriced to, to me. I hate to say that because I definitely want to root for Napa Valley. I grew up in the next valley over, which is Sonoma County. I'm a big fan of Napa Valley wines. And then, a big disappointment. Um, I don't like to make wines that... I don't like to make videos about negative stuff, but I do want to bring you the truth. And I want you to be able to, uh, be able to compare these two wines because they have something in common. They both make you feel kind of weird after you drink them. Again, I'm more sensitive than most people, so keep that in mind. Make a note of that. If you're not sensitive to any of this uh, artificial stuff, uh, and I'm not, I don't know how much artificial stuff, I don't know how it's made, but it's got something that affects me. But what I'm talking about is when I try wines that are this price and above, usually that doesn't happen. Even in the store, I'm not even sure if this is in the store, but I think they bought this in one of the local wineries. Um, however, the two things, the one thing they have in common is the same quality, close to the same quality. Flavor profile wise, the $15 bottle was better. French wine, 90 points according to wine enthusiasts. But a union gets. 86 points, you know, because of the quality and because of the price. Um, actually, I, I'm being really generous. We should be more like 83 points. Again, this one got 90, 90 points, and flavor wise, it was great. So, props to this company. Like I said, if you're not sensitive to any of the stuff that, you know, cheaper uh, stuff that they use to make it. Great wine, great flavor. I mean, it blends nice with steak. I was really shocked on how good it was. Even though it's not my style, I recognized that the the, the, the quality of the uh, the flavor profile was there. A great flavor profile. The quality, not really. Clarify that again. <laughs> Villa Union, $65. Not happy with it. Again, $15, $65, $50 more dollars, same result, less flavor, you will get some things like this. So it's good to read about your wines before you actually decide to buy them um, and get reviews. Uh, in some cases, that way you get a little bit of everything from everyone that's actually tried this wine. And you can actually go from there. You guys, welcome back to Fantastic Me. Again, Happy New Year. I wish it was a really positive video. <laughs> I wish I was telling you, oh my god, this is a great wine. I wish that was the case. But again, my job is to tell you the truth. And like I said before, I don't lie. This is what I do. And I just can't lie to people. So I will be bring you the truth every time. Okay, guys. Have a great night. And I'll see you in the next one. Take care.